Hi everyone, this is Chef Mark at Appliance Factory Fine Lines. I'm in Denver at our Zuni location in our Monogram kitchen, and I'm here working with the Monogram Pizza Oven. This is an incredible home appliance. It's something that makes great pizzas. If you haven't seen those videos, check the link in the, in the description below to see how well this works as a pizza oven. But the real magic of the hearth oven is that it's not just a one trick pony. It can do so much more than just make pizzas. So today I'm gonna to let you know how to get the most out of your uh, monogram pizza oven. We're of course gonna be making steak and chicken proteins and some vegetables as well. But before I get started on that, I wanna review some of the, some of the kind of the hidden secrets that I found on getting the most out of your pizza oven. So when I'm working with my pizza oven, I find that there's a couple different ways to get the best um, uh, product. Uh, like if I'm searing a steak and I want to get some char on that, there's a way to do that. And the way to do that is to use one of these sizzle pans. Well, I got these at a restaurant supply store. You can pick them up online. They're about 10 bucks a piece. They're really heavy duty. Uh, they're aluminum or pewter sometimes. Um, and this is known as a sizzle pan. If you've ever worked in a restaurant, uh, these go sliding under the broiler to brown uh, meats and fish. Um, and they work beautiful uh, in the monogram pizza oven. They fit great. Um, they handle heat really well. Um, they're very, very durable. They're easy to clean. Um, and when they get nice and hot, they actually become kind of naturally nonstick. So I have one here, but I also have a couple in the oven preheating. So when I set, let's say, my steak on top of that, I get that nice the nice sear and I find that's one of the secrets to getting really really great steak out of the monogram pizza oven. I'll show you how to do that in the next video. A couple other things I like, um, some aluminum uh, pie pants, uh, pizza pants. Uh, these can handle uh, a lot of heat. Uh, you can bake a pizza right on top of this. Um, they're really inexpensive, but what's nice about them is you can do all kinds of stuff. You can roast potatoes, vegetables on these. Uh, they fit very well into the oven. Um, and I think that they're just kind of a nice addition to uh, the monogram pizza oven. But the big surprise for me is this sheet pan. This half sheet pan, believe it or not, it fits in the monogram piece of it. Let's take a look. Check it out. So here, this, this half sheet pan fits in there. And what I've done with this is I've placed things like potatoes, vegetables, and salmon and shrimp all on the same tray and slid it in the oven in one shot and had everything cooked together. Um, so these are something you can find at a restaurant supply store. Uh, make sure you get one that doesn't have any coating on it. If you have one that has a, a non-stick or a uh, quick clean coating, uh, it will blister off in the high heat of the oven. Um, a couple other tools with your monogram piece of it. It comes with a brush for cleaning. It comes with a paddle and a peel. Uh, the paddle is for making steaks and sliding them in to the oven. And then the peel is for sliding stuff around, taking pizzas in and out. Um, you know, I think the peel that they provide you is a little on the small side, um, but if you want a bigger peel, once again, go to your restaurant supply store. They're not that expensive. Um, pick a different one up. I would get one maybe two inches bigger uh, in all directions so that it really uh, fit the oven a little bit nicer. Um, and the last thing I recommend, equipment-wise at least, is a long pair of tongs. So most tongs are all yay long. These long, these long tongs really do the trick because this is very hot when you're reaching in there. And here's those pans I was alluding to, those sizzle pans that I'm preheating. So when it comes time to sear a steak, I can set a steak directly on that hot pan and it's preheated, ready to go. In fact, I just kind of leave, leave them in the oven. Uh, that's where they live, that's where I store them. Um, so if I turn on the oven, I'm preheating it. I'm already preheating my sizzle pants. If I want to sear something off, they're ready to go. Um, a couple of the little things I've discovered here with the pizza oven. Um, there's two different heat sources. There's the dome, which is the heat coming down from the top, and there's the stone, which is the heat coming from the bottom. So I have the dome set at 1100 degrees, and I have the stone set at 700 degrees. So I'm gonna go to the stone. Let's say I wanna reduce that temperature because I wanna cook a little bit more slowly. Um, 
the temperature will come down pretty slowly because really all I can do is turn off the heat. But on the dome, let's say I wanted to turn it up a little bit. Let's say I wanted to go up to about 2100 degrees. It doesn't quite go that high, 1200 degrees. You'll see, there it goes. It's updating how hot the, uh, the dome currently is. It's at 1093 and it's going up to 1200. And then we can see that um, I set the stone at 400 and it's quickly reducing temperature. So you can change the temperature really quickly. One of the advantages of working with a hearth is that when you're cooking, you're really cooking it visually. So if you put it through, let's say, in an oven and you close the oven door, you kind of are at the mercy of, let's say, your stopwatch uh, or your timer. When you're cooking in a hearth oven, you really use your, kind of your senses to watch your food cook. And it cooks so quickly, the food will cook right in front of your eyes. And that's some of the fun, that's some of the magic. Um, this has got quite a bit of heat coming out of it, but as hot as this is standing right here, uh, it's ventless. So the only uh, heat comes out of this top here, which is not hot at all. I can set my hand here. But what's amazing to me is that the sides are cool to the touch. Cool to the touch. In fact, it's almost cold. Um, and that's pretty amazing. So that's another kind of magic trick of the monogram uh, piece of it. Just how uh, safe it is. Uh, lastly here, you can turn on the dome heat separately. So I just turned the dome heat off. So that means only the stone is hot. And what I like to do is, let's say I'm gonna be using my pizza oven and I wanna get it preheated. I'll just preheat it to 400 degrees like so, with no dome on. And then when I'm ready to use it, just a few minutes in advance of me, let's say putting a pizza or salmon or steak in my uh, oven, go ahead and turn the dome on. It quickly comes up to full temperature, it reduces some of the heat in the kitchen, um, and it really does a great job of just preheating when you're ready for it. Um, it is a little noisy. Uh, you can probably hear that uh, through my microphone, but it's kind of a white noise. Once you get used to it running, it kind of disappears into the background. If you're having a party with a few people and music on and wine glasses clinking, the noise, I promise you, just disappears. Um, so it's not noisy to the point that it's cumbersome. Um, it's kind of a steady drone and um, like any fan that's running in the background, it eventually just kind of your ears tune it out. So there's a few tips and tricks to get us started. Stay tuned in because we're going to be cooking some side dishes and some proteins in the monogram oven in a couple of different ways. So I can show you how to get the most out of this beautiful appliance. This is Chef Mark with Appliance Factory Fine Lines. Thanks for tuning in.